Good morning, people. This is Christian, and welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. And this thing on the screen, this is for, uh, I think it's for New Year's Eve's uh, decoration thing. There's a question in the Swedish Fusion 360 user group on Facebook. And the, question, the image was uh, to create something like this image, and uh, I'm just using this inspiration, not a total copy, because there are too many pipes here. The user in question wanted to have a, a maximum of... Uh, why did you start? Close. Uh, wanted a maximum of... Uh, he had 20 pipes, sorry. He had 20 LED pipes, and some way of arranging them around the sphere and the easy way is to do six 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 and one because let's give us six twelve eighteen and plus one that's nineteen so we are very close to twenty and at the bottom we have a larger pipe to uh, connect to a pole and of course they are empty on the inside we can do that direction a creative is way so they are quite usefully 3d printable i suppose they're going to be 3d printed that's the cheapest way to do this they're going to need some support here that's all the support going to end up on the inside these have a 45 degree angle so you should be able to print them usefully and we have some support and has added some chamfer here and some chamfer down here and using just basic features always let's have a look at pitching again okay lose your briefing as always uh look at things do we have some kind of patterns? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, eight. Yes, we have a pattern around here, and we want to design like a pattern, and we have repetitive things like this knob here. So, want to do the minimum amount of work as usually because I'm lazy. I'm gonna start a new design. I will not save it now, but always remember save your things. So, I have a great new sketch. Start from the front. Start with a big circle, because everybody likes a big circle. We're going to do a line, something like this, another line here. These two lines will be used for creating these small supports here. The sphere, of course, the sphere. And we can also make a line upwards straight to here. This is going to be used for... Uh, let's redo that. Let's do that all the way. We're going to use this for a help line later. Like that. Uh, and let's start dimensioning some things. This is the outside of the sphere, just do it 120. That's a bit too big, I think it was 100 millimeters, but all need to design. But anyway, uh, we're going to use some parameters. We have some things we know, so we like to reuse. So just to use user parameters of that. We're going to do our LED pipe OD, auto diameter. That's going to be 20 millimeters, because we have 20 millimeters pipes. Uh, we're going to have. I like to use uh, wall thickness parameters when I have things that I would reuse in the design. If I don't reuse it, I normally just put it in a sketch and uh, mount pipe, a big pipe down the bottom. I think you said it was 38 millimeters. And that's, of course, the outer diameter of a pipe. So that's going to be the inside diameter of the hole we're creating. Okay, we're going to create a Cetal rectangle here, midpoint constraint. This is going to be one of the small extruding pipes. The extruding pipe, these that are pointing outwards. So we're going to create one of those. We're going to dimension this here. So this up here is going to be our LED pipe. And we're going to do plus two times our wall thickness. Like that. And we need to decide how far uh, out they're going to protrude from this here. Right click, select tangents, we're gonna pick here to here. Let's do those 15 millimeters, or ah, that'd be too short. Let's make them 20, like that. These two here is gonna be equal because these are the two uh, support structures, this one and this one here. And I want these to be 45 degrees. We can dimension it or we can use symmetry because if we have two perpendicular lines and one in the middle, it's gonna be 45 degrees. And let's dimension this, how far this goes. It's going to be from tangent again, from the circle out to here. And I'm going to use this dimension. So click that, that dimension, and minus. Let's do four millimeters shorter than that. Uh, I do not need, a, we're going to do revolve on a sphere of this later for creating a pipe, which means I do not need the lines on the inside here. So we can, sorry, sketch, get back to my tools. Uh, I want to do trim. Trim, trim, trim. Let's open up the sketches, have a look. We have a fully defined sketch. Do we need any more of this sketch? New. No. I will create the rest of the pipes later. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I think I'm pleased there. 
we're gonna finish this. Yes, revolve. We're gonna be start revolving things. We're gonna do this. We do need to create half a pipe or half a sphere. Sorry, this is half a sphere. We're gonna hit OK. Yes, because we have a symmetry on top and bottom. Let's explain how I'm thinking. This top is the same as the bottom down here, except for this thing, which I can create later. So I'm gonna create only the top one and then use mirror. So by this, we have started that. We're going to create one of our pipes. We're going to revolve again. This here, around this. Make sure it says join, because we're going to use this in a pattern now. Uh, oh, sorry. We're going to do a circular pattern. Start by getting these three pipes down to here. Feature, yes, this feature. Axis, we're going to select the green one in here. Get a V starting round. That's wrong. We're going to do it on an angle, and uh, we can see if it's in this direction. I want it to the left because I have started the sketch there. That's just my mind to understand things. So minus 90. And we're going to need uh, three of them, of course. Hit OK. And we have those. We're going to do a circular pattern again. Off feature. It's enough to do the circular pattern. We don't need the part of the top one. Axis, we can simply just select the round edge of the sphere. And this time is going to be six of them. Like that. I'm going to turn on edges so it's a bit easier to see. That looks good. We're going to open up and have a check. Here are many bodies we have. We still have one body because everything we've been done our patterning using a just has been joined to the first body. Let's hide this. We do revolve, surface revolve and uh, profile. Uh, I'm going to select this one around this exit. Uh, I don't want to do both at the same time because then Fusion will connect the two bodies. I'm not going to use Thicken and that in most cases creates some strange behavior. We could do that one. We're going to do Thicken of this body and uh, we can do it uh, wall thickness. Now the interesting thing with Thicken is that it adds the dimension on both sides. We need to divide it by two. Because we're going to do it symmetric. We're going to do a new body. No, we're going to turn on our first body and make sure it says join. Like that. This surface body has done its job. So we're going to right click and choose remove. Hide the body. S key, revolve, select the orange one because that's the surface. This profile around this axis. Three or six threes. New body, yes. S thicken. And in this case, uh, because we will use mirror later, I'm going to do it on one side only. Now this is on the wrong side as we do downwards, so we need to do minus our parameter wall thickness once again, divide by two because we're going to do half of it. We're going to mirror it later so we get the full uh, thickness. Turn on our body, tell Fusion to join, and let's remove our surface body. You see, I try to clean up as I work forward. <laughs> In the design, I'm uh, sorry, my nose is a bit bad because it's, it's snowing outside and we needed to remove that yesterday. So, uh, that's that far. Let's see, we have done everything we need here. So, we're going to do a mirror, mirror of bodies. This body, mirror plane is very simple. This here, because we have it's the same as this plane here. So, let's select the plane and going to do a join, hit OK. We have this now, it's basically a bit confusing. So, we're going to hide the sketch for now. And we have created the base body, but it's a solid, so let's do a shell command, the blue one. Now it's a bit of clicking around because we need to select all our faces here on the outside of the pipes. Oops, sorry. Make sure we don't click on something else. Let's look from here. Three, four. Boom, 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 boom. This is so exciting. Oh, I happened to click wrong by me. So I'm going to hit the ground and nope. Only the outside of the pipes. We are clicking on like that. I think we shall select all of them. And of course, inside thickness is going to be our wall thickness parameter. Wait for fusion to the thinking. And I, you can see here, I lost the two pipes here. So I have hit something wrong. Yep, yeah, not that face and not that face. Release. I hold down control to reselect. I can see I missed click some here too. too. Some by, sometimes uh, what's happening is select through. It happens to select faces on the back side of things. Let's see. I think we got all of them. Hit OK. Wait for Fusion to think. Check our design. It looks good. Uh, now we're going to add a big pipe on the bottom. Create sketch. We're going to use look from the bottom. We're going to use 
I want to use a vis face here. I'm going to do a circle here. Uh, I now know that, that he wanted the pipe to be 38 millimeters. That's the inside diameter. Oh, for offset, I'm going to do these like uh, 4 millimeters fix. We get some thickness of this one. Step one, cut away the things we don't need. We're going to do extrude of uh, this here distance to object. And we're going to just try to find the inside of the sphere. So if I move the mouse down here into the cutout and click here, it's going to cut all the way to the inside of the sphere. Hit OK. Do another extrude of the outside of the support for the pipe. I'm going to do that on two sides. Have a look, we have the blue here, so we're going to pull that out. Let's do that like 50 millimeters. The other side, distance to object, and select the outside of the sphere. And you're going to do join. And you can still see we only have one body. I'm going to hide the sketch for now. And we have our basic structure. Uh, but now we know we're going to do this for 3D printing and stuff. So uh, maybe, okay, I'm going to use the support. There was a small image, there's a small rib support here. I think that's too much work. So I'm just going to do a chamfer. Uh, if I can spell to chamfer, chamfer. Chamfer this edge here. And I would put it on this edge and do like four millimeters to add some extra material there to support things. And of course now, uh, yeah, we're going to use that. Uh, a good tool is offset face. We're going to use that. My plan in my design intent is to split it down here, but this is very little material material to split here. So we're going to check these faces here. And like all the way around. You turn it around, do the same on the bottom. Da -da -da. A lot of faces to select. We're going to add two millimeters thickness to that on both sides to get it really thick and nice. Let's fuse and think. You can see now we have some ser serious thickness here. Set it where we want. This can of course also be used if we want to add thickness to the parts of a sphere, like down here. That's going to be a, a bit higher load on here. So we can do offset face here too. Want to do add material to here and here. We can add two millimeters to that. And like thicken out the bottom of the sphere. I would counsel that not do that now. And uh, that's the so far, sorry I'm ranting around with other things. Uh, create sketch on the top of this here. We're going to do slice. This piece is very useful in the sketch palette. If you don't know about it, slice will cut the model along the sketch plane. So you can see where our material is and where we have walls. So we're going to do a project of one of these, like that. We're going to hide the body for now. I want to make a, uh, a cut here so we can do a bolt or screw and bolt or stuff like this is going to be construction geometry because I don't want the profile. I'm going to do a line, construction one again, once again. Search for the triangle, that's the middle, straight over to here. We're going to do a circle, not construction, find the middle here. By doing this, uh, we get the whole center on this little profile part here. Let's do that uh, 8.5, does that work? Yeah. M8 bolt is possible here. Finish sketch, turn on a body, extrude this profile distance to object, turn around this side. S circular pattern, of course, circular pattern of feature. Yeah, the last cut we did. And we can select any outside here. I just selected a round edge, and Fusion understands and finds the center axis. And it does it six times, exactly one. Adjust, can we do? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not that large pattern. Hide the sketch. And we are almost done. We're going to do a split body. What body split? This, as we have designed around a uh, region point, we can use the planes of the. Uh, let's see, can you find it? New, not that one. Hold down the mouse button. I hate when Fusion does that. Sometimes it is a problem to select through things. That plane I want, I turn off the body to find it. Uh, and OK. And now we have two bodies top body and bottom body. Uh, of course, we mentioned we're going to 3D print this. We're going to need some massive amount of support here. So you could construct some inside geometry, like support, basically manual support to get other. But I mean, most, it depends how long you're going to use this. It's going to be used for one day, New Year's Eve. I would most probably just 3D print it and, if necessary, add uh, hot glue or something else to get extra support. And of course, maybe thicken these walls here now and stuff like that. But this is how I would create something like this with inspiration from this image here, using a lot of pattern and 
some parameters so you can if you're going to go back we should be able to change things now let's see if i can crash my model so you might need some clearance for pipe if the pipes are 20 millimeters 20.5 is not a bad thing can hit ok we can do inspect and check and this here has now has a diameter 20.5 yes there will be a problem uh, so i'm going to do the other way around printing something like this with support can create some bad geometry here but yeah if it's like a one knockoff and uh, yeah i wouldn't spend the time but we just print it and see where we end up you can add some more chamfers and fun stuff we won't do that so i hope this is was interesting and you maybe saw some new stupid things to do with that said take care see you around and goodbye